Before I get into today's video, remember to follow me on Twitter. So my Twitter, the link is in the description below. You can also find me. My handle is at Jackson Kruger. Come over, say hi. And anyways, back to your regularly scheduled video. So who the hell is Nate Hobbs? That is the question that maybe people won't be having after this season uh, because he looked really awesome in the preseason. Uh, we only really got to see him have significant snaps in one game, but he looked great in that game. Uh, he's a relatively fast corner. He was ran a 4-3, but you know, it is uh it's pro day time, so probably closer to a 4-4, especially since it was a 4-3-8. But still, uh he's definitely a bit quick. He has good ball skills. From what I've seen, I, I can't believe this guy would, took till the fifth round. I mean, I had never heard of him, honest honestly. I had no idea who he was. So the fact that he's looked as good as he's looked is awesome. And I'm all aboard the Hobbs train at this point. Uh, this this looks pretty awesome. So let's get into the film study and talk about what I was so impressed with. So let's start off with this play. So first off, yes, there's another guy on the field right here, uh, or not on the field, but on the screen. Uh, this is just during their, you know, they love to do interviews during the preseason. No clue why. I don't know who cares about those interviews like if I wanted to see an interview you could just put it online somewhere I feel like that would be fine but that's what they do it drives me crazy but it is what it is especially drives me crazy when they put it on the screen uh, I even re I remember there was a Minnesota Vikings game where they literally stopped showing the game and we're just showing the interview I'm like what are we doing here regardless uh, I could talk about that all day I won't let's get back to Nate Hobbs here uh, he is the deep zone corner right here. So he's the guy in charge of covering the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, uh, which is the you know deep left-hand corner of the offense that they're going at and the right side of the defense. That's how all that works. Uh, there's a go route that Hobbs is going to be eventually trying to cover. However, what's interesting is this is not the number one receiver doing it. It's the number two receiver, meaning the guy that Hobbs is lined up against, he will not be covering. He's actually going to be covering a different guy, but given the zone concept, that's the way this is going to work. And Hobbs does have speed, and that's such an important trait in a corner. Being fast is just about everything in a corner. It matters so much. And so watch what's going to happen here. Right when this play starts, so, you know, uh, the throw is going to go in that direction. Hobbs runs deep, and look at how he just, he stays with him this entire time to the point where this is probably not even a throw that should have been made, quite frankly. When you have speed, it just uh, does so much because you can also play the ball. It's not just that you can, you know, help cover this stuff, but in a situation like this, he doesn't really have to worry about getting burned deep. He know he knows how fast he is and he can look and say, "Okay, receiver's looking up. I can look up too now because he knows he can keep pace with him." So all of this great stuff already. He's already won the battle for sure. Uh there's no separation. However, there's a big difference between you know, having there be no separation and taking advantage of a throw that should have never been thrown to you. And watch him leap up, and he is going to make that interception right there. That's a tremendous play by Nate Hobbs, and again, really cool. I mean, that's just that's just a legit good play. That's not one of these preseason interceptions where the ball happens to get thrown their way, and hey, congrats, you got the interception. You know, you intercepted an NFL quarterback. That's always cool. No, this was a legit pick. Like, this was a great play. Like, something like this is another one where he just, he can move so well. It, it's, it's blowing me away that this guy fell as far as he did in the draft because he looks awesome from what I've seen in the preseason. I, I haven't watched his college tape. I don't know what that's like, but his, his NFL tape looks awesome so far. Uh, it's man coverage. He's going up one-on-one -on -one against 84 right here. Uh, you see the route that he's running, and watch what happens. So right when this play starts, you're going to notice that, okay, so there's the outside leverage by 84. He's obviously going to run towards the outside. But what's crazy about this from Hobbs is obviously he doesn't know that's happening. He has a guess, but he doesn't know it, so he can't just start in that direction. He is going to get a bit of a late start, as you have to, but watch how well he accelerates. Look, I mean, he just stays right with him that entire way. I mean, that's high-quality stuff. He does kind of get off that route a little bit to potentially try and stop the quarterback running. I wouldn't recommend that. I'd say stay on your man, to be honest, but as a whole... The most of that play, he did a tremendous job, so I, I would still give him credit for it. There was also something like this that I noticed, where his tackling is good. I believe he's uh, the deep safety on this play. Could be wrong, but it looks like it's cover two, and he's the deep safety on this one. So maybe they're just trying out different positions, seeing where he could fit, perhaps, which does make sense. You want to get him some playing time, so... 
uh, you know, do stuff like that. Sure, I get it. And right when this play starts, so you notice that there's a quick throw out over to the flat, and now I've circled Hobbs, you know, right there. So this is the situation. Can he run over? Can he make a quick tackle? Tackling is important when you're a zone corner. The Raiders like to play zone. That's something that they typically do. So, so for someone like Hobbs, if he's going to be an everyday starter, he is probably going to have to be able to make some tackles. And as you see, he runs over and he does help make that tackle. So this is just one example. I've seen plenty of examples of him being able to tackle well, which is good because, again, that is something that it does. It matters. This plays another very interesting one this really goes to show off his speed and his ball skills uh, again if you have speed and ball skills you're going to be a good corner in the nfl almost always and especially when you throw on the way his footwork has looked i mean I'm, I'm, i swear i was blown away from his tape uh in this preseason i really was now you know it's preseason it's a small sample size so that's kind of the issue but still uh this is cover three zone you have a receiver running over the middle you see the zone where hobbs is supposed to cover he shouldn't be getting into this play. This isn't really his fault whatsoever. However, he's still going to read it and try and get into the play. Like, I mean, look, right when this play starts, so he's reading this play through no fault of his own. This is open. This is actually a great play by him just to try and get into the what? Into the play. Just this alone, good awareness, because he was all the way on the other side of the field was where he was supposed to cover. But again, zone coverage, it's a suggestion, not a rule. Don't be afraid to move over if that's the right play. So this is already a good play, even though it's got to be a catch here, right? Unless it's just a dropped pass. However, watch how Hobbs runs over and he actually knocks the ball away there. That's a tremendous play. I mean, that's just incredible, quite frankly. The ball skills to go over and make that play happen, that's an awesome play. And quite, I, I swear, you know, you can watch, if you have NFL Game Pass, you can watch his tape yourself. It's truly remarkable. I do have to say, how funny would it be if the Raiders end up with like the best draft out of this draft, which seems like a legit possibility if Hobbs does turn into just like a starting uh, corner. You know, Leatherwood has looked awesome uh, in preseason when we all said, what are you doing drafting Leatherwood? We all thought he should go in the second round. Well, uh, he looks like a first round talent to me. Hobbs looks like a first round talent to me. Uh, I'm blown away by this guy. So the, yeah, fun stuff. Hey, uh, might maybe, you know, listen, Mayock, he's had some misses. He's had some hits too. Doesn't get enough credit for those. Uh, you know, so there's, there's pros and cons to both and they need some defensive help. So getting a good corner, which is in my opinion, the most important position on defense and it's especially something they need. That could be really good, and I wouldn't be shocked at all to see him starting next year at some point. So, or this year at some point. It's this year. The season started. That's so good. Cool. I don't. I don't have to say next year. I can say this year. That's fun. Uh, yeah. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and of course, as always, thanks for watching.